Hey my lovely Serene Dream here and back with another Film Me In General Energy reading. And if you're new to my channel, this reading can apply whenever you find it. It is general, it is timeless, it can resonate with you for the day, the week, the month, or even the year. But do keep in mind because it is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Reverse the messages if that's how it fits your situation. I have created a dreamer exclusive uh, membership. And if there you will receive uh, exclusive member videos, you'll be able to uh, vote on polls for the content to help create or curate the content that you see posted here. So if you'd like to join, go ahead and hit the join button below this video. If you have not checked out your monthly Zodiac readings, general forecast for the rest of the year, love forecast for the rest of the year, or finance forecast for the rest of the year, you can do so at the Vimeo links below in the description box. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website can be found below as well. Follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for guidance. And if you'd like to donate, you can go ahead and go ahead and hit the super thanks um, link underneath this video as well. And let's go ahead and get into your messages for this time. Okay, the first message I'm getting is like the Hulk. Like, you know, when the I forgot the guy's like his human form name but like when he turns into the hulk and like he rips out of his clothes i feel like you all are outgrowing the space that you're currently in you're outgrowing the energy that you've been in i'm hearing for like the last 20 years i'm also getting 12 so some of you oh i'm getting three different timelines there's a growth happening with several people. For some of you, this timeline that you've been on has been going on for the last 20 years. For others, this timeline has been going on for the last 12 years. And for others of you, this timeline has been going on for the last 12 months, which would be the last year. For those who are on the 12 month timeline, I feel like you all have already gone through several changes, but it's like you're going through another one. The other ones who are on the 20 or 12 year timeline this may be the first major transformation you ever recall having in your life maybe you were too young um before to know when a transformation happened um or e like even recognize it as that but i feel like you shifted timelines uh either if the ones who are on the 12 year timeline i feel like this you shifted timelines when you were a kid, like a very small kid. And that was happening again as an adult. And then for those of you who are on the 20 year timeline, I feel like you're a little older in age. And so you went through this like at a much younger age where you weren't really conscious that this is what was happening. So it's gonna feel very, um, I'm hearing enlightening. It's just going to feel very different. You're just going to feel like you're going to wake up one day and everything is going to be different. You're going to be different, think different, speak different. And I feel like everything around you is going to start to behave differently. So if there are people that are around you that were around you before the shift happened. I just feel like they're going to be treating you differently. This may be negative or positive, depending on their spirits and how they align with the timeline that you're currently on. If they are meant to be a part of your timeline in a positive way, they're going to start to uh, a lot like raise their vibrations along with you. And for those who are not meant to affect your timeline in a positive way, they may start to treat you negatively all of a sudden to push you out of their lives because they're no, no longer meant to be a part of your life. For those who are on the shorter timeline of this being a another ascension after a year you've gone through this many times over and I feel like this is just another one but I feel like this version of yourself this timeline that you're about to go on is going to be like the most productive timeline that you've been on in several years I feel like you were going like you went through a period where nothing was happening for a very long time and then it's like, you could have been in that for like a 10 year stretch. Like there could have been a 10 year period where you were on the same timeline and then you shifted. And then it went to like, a, it kept counting down because I'm getting like 10 years. And then it was like five years you were on the same timeline. And then it was, it jumped to two and now it's at one. 
So you've been conscious of the transformations you've been going through, but they've all looked different. But I feel like, again, this particular timeline, because you would have just, you just would have gone through a transformation a year ago. This one is about to be the most productive. So I feel like anything that you've been waiting to happen, anything that you've been shown uh, about your future, that's going to happen on this timeline. I'm hearing barrels of fun. So along with the productivity that you're about to experience in this timeline, I feel like you're going to have a whole load of fun that you possibly didn't get to have in the previous timelines to make up for that time. You were working diligently, more so internally when you were on the other timelines to get to this point. And for those who are on the 20 year or uh 12 year timeline, I feel like this shift is more so going to play out in the way of like your internal is going to change. Like there's going to be a, a lot, a big difference in like the way you think, the way you communicate, who you connect with, your taste and everything is going to change. Because I feel like you all who are on the longer timelines, I feel like you would have, you're coming out of a time where you were being very productive, like think like you were active, I should say. I won't I won't say productive necessarily. Maybe productive in a 3D sense, but I feel like you're about to get busy in the in the other dimensions. So that that's going to translate in this dimension as you not being very productive, but you are. It's just not gonna look like much in this dimension because you have to work out it's like you have to work out your the versions of yourselves in the other dimensions. Like you have to like commune with them and like align with them in order to bring like I'm getting like collapse those timelines because there is going to come a time where like all your timelines collapse into one. And that's going to be like when things really get very interesting in this dimension for you. But I feel like for those on the 10, I mean, yeah, 12 and 20 year timelines, you're going to do, you're going to be, get productive in the other dimensions. And for those who are on the new timeline after, you know, doing the timeline jump after a year, you're about to get productive in this dimension. Things are about to shift for you greatly because you would have done the work that the ones who have been on the 12 and 20 year timeline, the work that they're just starting to do, you've been doing for several years. So it's like you're a little bit ahead of the game. So your leap is, uh, again, it's, it's, it's just going to be the most productive in the 3D of the three timelines I'm picking up. But I feel like for all three, what's going to change the most about you is your heart space. You're going to change the way that you love. Um, and I don't mean just in a sense of like romantic relationships. I feel like even your level of compassion is going to increase. You're going to learn how to use your heart space in a way to heal rather than harm. And what I mean by that is I'm picking up someone and this may not be one particular person. I feel like this applies to several people. But what I'm getting is an example of someone who they they use their, they will their heart space like a weapon. So when they are done with someone or like if someone harms them, it's like they use their love for that person against them. Um, like they may punish this person. Like it's like they when they love someone, it's like they decide that I'm going to take matters into my own hands, like vengeance is mine. So they end up like taking the matters into their own hands and, and hurting, or as they call it, getting, get, they're doing, the, having their get back with people that they feel have harmed them, these people that they once loved or even still do love, but they feel like they need to punish these people because they hurt them. I feel like you're going to grow out of that and you're going to learn how to just move on gracefully from situations that no longer serve you. So there is somebody who crosses you. There is, if there is someone who hurts you, it's like you learn to just disconnect and not feel like you have to dabble 
further in their energy and go back and forth and create pain for them. Like the pain, you're going to understand that the big, the best way you can hurt someone, you know, who did hurt you is just to leave, just disconnect completely. But I feel like I'm getting petty. Like someone, whoever I'm picking up on, whoever it was had this heart space when I was mentioning, like they will their heart space like a weapon. They decide that they're they they indulge in petty games a lot toward people who they feel have crossed them. They're gonna stop doing that. I also feel like they're going to stop uh, rationing their heart space for people that they only feel. This may be someone who only opens their heart for people who they're intimate with. So they don't really know how to love like on a friendship level. They may not know how to love on a family level. Like they only decide that I'm going to open my heart to people who, just to be frank, who I open my legs to. So they, and I feel like that has created very disastrous results for this person because they could have been in a space where every single person that they were connected to romantically has hurt them. Because they didn't know how to love from a healthy space that did not involve like sexual intimacy. But now it's like their heart is about to grow um, three or maybe even five times the size that it was to allow more room for different types of love. And I don't mean just like your loved ones, like you're going to have the capacity to love, you know, on a real friendship level, family level, but you're probably going to like be able to be compassionate for pe- for people you don't know near and far like your heart is just going to um you're just going to learn that your heart has more room than you initially thought like or your heart may literally have more room than it did before because it's grown so much but yeah I definitely feel like that is happening for all three timelines like your heart space is growing to include the capacity to love more on more levels than you thought. The ones who are on the 12 month or year timeline, I feel like you would have already been working on this, but your heart is gonna grow even more so. So you already have been working on your compassion. You've already been, uh, your love has already been extending in more areas than you were used to before. But I feel like you're going to see like how much bigger it can get. I'm also getting like something about handling people from your past. You might have. Oh, OK. While those who are on the 20 or 12 year, the ones who are going through a time line jump after 20 years or 12 years, you all are going to be working on getting rid of people who no longer serve you. So your space may start to look a lot more empty, but it's going to be for your own good and you're going to have more peace than you've ever had before. I'm also getting something about you being able to sleep better. So those of you who are on those who are experiencing a timeline jump after those amount of years, the 12 and the 20, I get that. um, And I keep getting 10 as well. So there could be a 20, 10, it could be four timeline jumps. Those who have been on the same timeline for 20 years, those who have been on the same timeline for 12 years, 10 years, and then one year. But for those 10, 12, 20 timeline jumps, uh, I feel like you all are going to be getting rid of people. And you're going to be getting more peace. You're going to be getting more sleep. I'm getting people, I'm picking up energies where people have not been able to sleep or have a good night's sleep for years. That's going to change. I feel like it's going to regenerate your cells. So you're going to start to look more refreshed. If you've been looking haggard or wondering or uh, worrying about your physical appearance, I feel like this time where you're starting to get rid of baggage and anything that's been draining you, that includes people, situations. Some of you could be leaving jobs. I'm picking up but no need to worry I don't feel like you're gonna have to worry about money it's like you're going to something better but something that's less something that is something that could sustain you but something that's less stressful so the whole goal here is to get rid of your stress and this is going to translate in your physical appearance if you've been worrying about 
the fact that you look more haggard and maybe you have like dark circles around your eyes or I'm also picking up like losing hair. Some of you have been experiencing hair loss. I'm also getting like somebody, uh, someone has been experiencing like, like excessive sweating. That has been all a part of the stressful energy that they were on in those timelines. But now they're coming out of that. I feel like all of that is about to stop. They're going to start to look like a brand new person because their cells are going to get regenerated. They're going to learn how to meditate using um, f sound frequencies. You all are going to be led into that practice and you're going to start to see like the benefit of it and you're going to practice it very regularly. This is going to change you from the inside out. And this is going to prepare you for your big jump later on. For those who are on the year timeline or experiencing a timeline jump after a year, I feel like you're going to have people from your past coming back, but not to actually be in your life. They're going to be coming back asking for your forgiveness. And this is going to be very crucial in practicing the new uh bandwidth of your heart space so as i was picking up before like you've already been working on that your heart space has already has already grown um but those people from the past are going to be allowed back into your space but not to stay they're going to be coming back asking for your forgiveness and i feel like you're going to give them that forgiveness because that forgiveness is going to start them on their path of healing and it's going to give you the closure you didn't even know you needed because i feel like you grew beyond the point of needing closure from people who hurt you like you started you got so much i feel like you've experienced so much uh pain in the past from people that you didn't get closure from that you got used to not getting closure and you learn how to heal yourself but now these people are coming back it's going to and you giving them that forgiveness and sending them on that way and sending them on their way i feel like it's going to do something for you that you didn't even know you needed it may not necessarily be closure but it, it gives you like i don't know i mean I, I guess it would be closure, but I'm getting that it's something bigger than that. So it's benefiting you and these people who are coming back, but it's it, you're going to learn that you can still love them. You don't have to hate them. I don't feel like you hate them, but it's like you. I'm hearing you nothing them. That's what you were doing. The people in your from your past who hurt you, that you cut off or whatever. The time, the ones who are on the long, who are coming off of the longer timelines. They're going to be going through cutting people out. You would have already gone through that. So how you handled it was that you don't hate these people. You send them away or you disconnect yourself and you nothing them. You don't feel any hate. You don't feel any love. You don't feel nothing. It's just blank. You know, it's like you don't wish any ill will. It's just like, it's almost like they don't exist. Although, like, although you acknowledge that they do exist, but it's like they don't exist in your energy space anymore. They don't exist in your energy field at all anymore because you cut them out but i feel like god is going to be allowing these people back in for this forgiveness because it's like they something about like when you cut them out of your when they were disconnected since they've been disconnected from your energy these people have been suffering and they can't even get to a space of beginning to heal because they hurt you I feel like you all are very special beings that when somebody crosses you, it's like their whole life goes to ruins. And for them to even begin to pick up the pieces and start to live a somewhat normal life, they have to come to you and like pay their penance in a sense. But you're not going to like punish them. It's just you're going to release them from the burden of their guilt of hurting you. And as a result, it's going to allow you to learn how to still hold them in your heart space or hold like a space in your heart for them without like connecting to them in the way that you used to. So yeah, your heart is growing even more than you thought it could grow. Like you thought you already had, like your heart was already at capacity, but now you're realizing that there's even more space. So these people from the past, you're going to start to, you know, send them off with forgiveness and love, you're going to be able to tell them like genuinely, like I, I will always have love for you and mean it. 
but not in the way of letting them back in your life. Neither do you even want them back. It's not even the fact of you sending them away and just like, you know, I kind of want them, but you know, they aren't good for me. So I got to send them away. It's like you send them away with love and forgiveness without even having any desire to have them in your life in the capacity that they were. So I feel like when you run into them after this converse, after these conversations that you have with these people, if you were to run into them, like you can be more than cordial. Like you can laugh, you know, you can, you know, if you're in a group setting, you can hang out with no animosity whatsoever. It's going to surprise this person with how, like you're, they're going to be super surprised at how, uh, how much grace you have inside of you. Like you're somebody they never knew possible to exist with the way you handle them. Because I feel like everybody in their past, I don't feel like you would have, you would be the first person that they would have hurt or crossed. But I feel like um, you would be the first person who, who has as much grace toward them as you do. Because I feel like with people in the past, people who forgive them or let them in, it's like they will want them back in their lives. Like, okay, you hurt me, but I for, I forgive you, but I want you back the way we used to be. This person is going to be shocked that you have that grace for them, but you don't want them back at all. They're like, what? Like, they're going to be so confused by it. Like, what is this? Like, usually when somebody opens their, you know, like they say they love me and they forgive me that they want to get back with me but that's not or they want me back in their lives because it doesn't have to be a lover you know all of them don't have to be lovers they could just be other people you have connections with friends or family members you previously cut off but yeah it's like you you love them at a it's like you really do love them from a distance like I don't want you back in my life but I send you love I send you peace I send you forgiveness and I really do mean that and when we run into each other it's all love they're just like, I don't know, just something about the way you're going to handle them. They're going to be like, I don't even know people like this existed. They're going to be in such deep awe of you. I already feel like they have like, since they've been cut out of your energy, they're starting to have like a deep reverence for you because they know that you aren't like other people they've ever met before. You're something beyond this world. That's what they understand now. And that's why they're suffering so much. They understand that they have to get your forgiveness because you're something that is not of this world that they weren't supposed to treat like everyone else, that they aren't able to treat like anyone else and just go on about life. So that's why they're going to come back. For those of you who are coming out of the longer time timelines, 10, 12, and 20 years, I feel like you all are going to... Um, Some of you are going to be connected to someone romantically, but I don't feel like this relationship is going to last. This person is coming in to help upgrade you to the next level, but I do feel like it's going to be a very meaningful relationship. You're going to fall in love with this person. They're going to love you, but they're coming in as a teacher. This person is a soulmate to help elevate your soul's um, knowledge. Because I feel like you need a teacher and God understands that. And I feel like the one who can teach you the most for those who are coming off that timeline, God understands that it will be those who are closest to you. So I always say that there is there's no one who can be closer to you than someone that you're romantically tied with because you are you literally enter each other's souls when you're intimate. So, yeah, that's why they're being sent. This is why you're being sent this relationship. They're going, they're going to help you evolve. And because I was starting to speak and it sounded like I was going to speak in a Scottish accent. I don't even know how to do a Scottish accent, but I heard it trying to come out. This person could be of like another, um, they could be of another race, but I'm getting more so like another culture. Like they... They could be from another country, like you all have like different cultural backgrounds. It could be both. They could be of a different culture and another race. 
But I just feel like it's going to be a very deep love between you. Um, you're also going to help this person evolve as well. Like you're doing that for each other. But I'm, because I'm reading for you, this is about your timeline jump. They're definitely going to teach you a lot. This person is coming in with a wealth of knowledge that they're going to be open to sharing with you. And they're going to be invested in seeing you win. Okay, I feel like this is specifically for those coming off the 10 year timeline. I feel like you all are going to receive some sort of opportunity or offer that is going to put you on the track to your future. So I feel like for most of you, this is going to be in the form of a career. So this could be a career that kind of comes out of the blue for you that you never even thought you would be interested in or good at. Someone makes this offer to you and then you start on this path and it becomes like a passion of yours. Like it change, like it helps you to set your course for the rest of your life. And through this path, through this career opportunity, you end up learning so much about yourself. This helps you evolve. So in addition to a relationship that's coming in for you, for those on a 10 year timeline, you have um, an opportunity or career coming for you that's also going to teach you more lessons. And I feel like after this, once you learn the lessons on this timeline, you're going to jump again in about three years, those on the 10 year timeline. Yeah, what I'm getting, the pattern I'm picking up is that like the the like the shorter the time is on the timeline the more reward you have on the next timeline so for those who are on the 12 and 20 year timeline it's like you're more so having to learn the lessons of just how to purge because there's been so much accumulation for all the years that you've been on these on this timeline they needed to get rid of all the excess baggage all the toxicity that you've accumulated that no longer serve you for those on the 10 year timeline although it's just 2 years short of the 12 year timeline i feel like you um you've done a little bit of this already just a little bit, but this is why you're getting what the 20, those coming off the 20 and 12 year timelines, you're getting what they're having, but a little bit extra because you, you've already been starting on this journey of learning how to purge. And of course, those who are on the, you know, coming off the year timeline, it's like you would have gone through this so many times over. It almost feels like you've, in this lifetime, it feels like you've, you've experienced at least five, um, five reincarnations of yourself. So this is just another one. Like I said, it's so much reward coming for you. I, like, I don't even know like where to begin because I feel like you already kind of know what's ahead of you and what you're about to experience, what you're about to have, because it would have been shown, like you would have been shown all along what's coming. And so it's just all of that is about to play out now, but it's so much, it's like no point in me listing everything because it's like you have a great reward for all the work you've been doing. And for those who are coming up behind you, they're going to get here. You're going to get there eventually too. It's just, it's not, you're not on that timeline yet, but you are going to get there. If you remain diligent and do the work, just as those on the 12 month timeline, year timeline, uh, coming off the year timeline have done, you're going to be, so it's like, you can see if you have someone coming off of, um, a year timeline in your life is like you you have something to look forward to. Like you can look at their lives, maybe not exactly like every detail the same, but like the general sense of like what they experience, you're going to be able to see like what you have ahead of you, what you can look forward to if you stay on this path. Because again, we have free will, we have choices. You have to understand, I'm hearing that you have to remain true to the voice that is guiding you. Cause you could obey, you could obey that voice or you could listen to your lower self that's trying, that may be trying to still creep in and pull you back to your previous timeline. So yeah, just be, you know, cognizant of that voice that's pulling you forward and always obey that and never anything that's opposed to that. If you have, I'm hearing that if you have a moment where you're confused 
on what the I'm hearing North voice. That's what the voice that's going to be. That's God's voice. But I specifically heard North voice. That's the voice that's pulling you forward. If you have, if you ever in a moment where you're confused about which is the North voice, take a beat, take a moment and pause and just really like quiet everything around you, quiet everything in you to discern which is the North voice. I feel like you'll reveal itself very clearly. But if you're confused about which is the north voice that means there's too much noise around you so yeah just get quiet and then you'll you know it will stick out there like it will stick out like a sore thumb like okay that's where i'm supposed to go but yeah overall i feel like you all have an amazing um timeline ahead of you for different reasons like i said for those who are coming out of the longer timelines you're coming out of chaos and moving into peace for those on the 10 year timelines, you're, you're also been experiencing some of that chaotic energy, but I feel like you have a little bit more peace than the other two um, timelines. And then of course, those coming out of the year timelines, I feel like you, you are peace. Like you've, em like you embody peace now. And so now it's just a matter of like spreading that energy in the world. I feel like you all are light workers. I feel like all of you all who resonate with this reading are light workers, but you're on different timelines for um, how, how that shows up in this world or, or what, what you're doing in the path toward your light work. You're on different timelines for it. But those who are coming off the year timeline, you're now at the place to spread your light in the world. It's always picking up like people coming, people from the past coming back to you for forgiveness and how you handle them with so much grace and you actually mean it, but you don't want them back in your life the way that you want. Cause like, it's not even a matter of like you trying to cut them off and like, no, you just don't. It's like, you don't even have the taste for them anymore. You're not attracted to them anymore. So it's not even like, I still feel attraction, but you're not good for me. So I got to cut you out. It's like, you look at them like, in a, I don't even want to say you pity them, but in a way it sort of comes off like that. How the energy is coming into me. Like you forgive them, send them off with love, but it's like, you don't have a desire to have them in your life like that. Cause like whatever attraction, whatever was connecting to connecting or attracting you to them before that's gone. Now you look at them as more, I'm hearing like the general population that you're supposed to help, you know, in a distant sense. And, um, or maybe not as distant as like a general person you don't know, maybe a little bit of a quote because you have a familiarity with who they are. So you might care a little bit more than a general person you would come across like a general stranger, but not in a sense of like being so involved in like heavily protecting them the way you possibly used to do. But yeah, this is a very this was a very interesting reading. Um I think that's about all I'm channeling. Yeah, but you all have so much ahead of you. You're coming out of uh you're jumping timelines and it's it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a huge change manifesting in different ways depending on which timeline you're on. So yeah, I hope that reading was helpful to you all. Um again, if you I would like to join my Dreamer exclusive membership where I post members only videos and polls to help curate the content on this channel. And I'm going to be adding more perks um, in the future. If you want to go ahead and join, hit the join button below this video. If you like to donate, um, you can hit the super thanks button on this video as well. Um, if you would like to check out your monthly zodiac readings, general forecast for the rest of the year, love forecast for the rest of the year, or finance forecast for the rest of the year the vimeo links below in the description box uh there can lead you to that if you like to book a personal reading with me link to my website can be found below in the description box as well and follow me on instagram at serene dream things for guidance and i'll be back on more readings lovelies bye